How's it going everybody? My name is Colossalis. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today, I'm so glad to be back. Um, it, there's been a little bit of a rough rough road right behind me. Um, there was a little bit of a breakup between me and my uh, past girlfriend and just trying to focus on work because they said that if I don't develop as a person, I'm probably going to lose that job quickly. So I had to basically put some time into that. And uh, but I, I've, I've always wanted to come back to this series. I've always wanted to come back to A through, A through Z and just to YouTube overall. I want to do some other things besides just Heroes. Heroes is uh, you know still an ever developing game, so I still want to put my uh, time and money into that. But I also want to invest some time into other games, maybe other projects. You know, maybe some real life stuff. Who knows? Um, as I develop as a person. Anyway, without going on a too too big of a tangent today, uh, I will be playing Artanis. I just, I not just, but I recently made, made a video about him. He did not change since then. Uh, basically, what happened was he got some balance changes, uh, some nerfs to his overperforming talents, and when he did, it was a situation where it seemed like a very big nerf to him. He fallen, he has fallen out of the meta. Uh, he's not bad, but he doesn't. What the fuck was that? Also, a weird voice crack. He isn't bad, but he doesn't exhale at anything. And he puts himself out of position a lot, and he doesn't have an escape. Well, he does. He has more escapes now than he used to before, but... Yeah, it's it's still a weird situation with him. Um, he's definitely not picked at all in any competitive matches. Uh, it's it's kind of tough to see because it's one of my, one of my favorite heroes. Um, you know, when it came to actually to the, to the change where you can actually swap people when you when you play dash, but we're gonna get into that once we once we get into the game. Thanks so much for being here, and let's get into our tennis. All right, boys and squirrels, we'll find ourselves on the Warhead Junction. Um, on level one, we have a very kind of competitive tier. I would say amateur opponent of season marksman. Don't fall into the trap of going for reactive parry. Reactive parry is actually pretty bad, in my opinion, just because it's a it's a trap talent. Because of course it gives you some more survivability, but it's only fifty percent, and it costs you mana to give you a, a block stack. And block is already kind of uh, fading out of the meta, even on the bigger block characters. Um, it's not gonna be a quick game, I don't think. So probably how much your opponent is gonna give me the most value because I'll be able to I'll be also able to slow mercs basically. I'll explain what it does after I explain my abilities. My abilities are Q is blade dash. I will blade forward in this motion, then come back. I deal, I deal more damage in the outwards motion than in the... Uh, no, in the outwards or in the inwards? I think it's the in... Let's see. Yeah, so when you return, you deal more damage. Cool, 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 cool. Three people middle. My W ability makes my next two basic attack come out immediately. Um, there's nothing empowering those basic attacks. It's basically the just you know. Okay. What are you trying to do here? I mean, you, okay, you got some health off of me, but was it really worth it? I mean, I got a healer, so at least maybe. Uh, so yeah, and it also kind of uh, teleports me. Not teleports me, but just kind of dashes me towards that target. You can see I do get that short dash. Why are you doing this? Did you know I'm not honest? I'm gonna rake your face. And an E ability allows to swap uh, position. Uh, basically, whenever I hit somebody with a skill shot, I will swap positions. Are you serious? Let me sw swap out of that flame strike. <laughs> Nova, I believed in you! There we go, one for one. We made it one for one. Nova and Artanis versus a healer and a kill pass. Anyway, whatever. Um. So, yeah, E ability will swap a target, also deal some very, very insignificant damage. And this can be used during your blade dash, which makes it super exciting, right? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically our kit. We also have our trait, which is shield overload, allows us to... I was actually such a shitty death, I shouldn't have died there. Hey! Okay. Shield surge at level 4. Uh, allows us to get a little bit of a shield. <laughs> Fuck off, man. I know, you, I know you're gonna throw your shit at me. Too late. He activated it too late. What the? Flip boy? I'm 
I'm gonna die. Okay, I, I just have to leave it. I can't do anything. About oh, okay, okay. I guess nobody's here. Yo, what up, boy? Let me just get. Let me just get that. Thank you. Dash to him. Deal the final damage with that. There we go. Oh my god, fucking minions, dude. Get the nuke, thank you. Right, yeah, so it will give us a shield, a pretty significant shield, um, when we take damage below 75% of our health. This, this uh, before their York used to be 50%, made him very, very unreliable, kind of a, a bruisery type tank of Reno. I don't know. It's, it was, it was weird. It was awkward. It was awkward to, uh, to play with. Oh, I did it too early. Okay, that was, <laughs> that was a weird interaction. The blade dash into the shadow charge from the, from Diablo. Uh, but yeah, so basically what you want to be doing as, as Artanis is kind of like setting up plays, right? So what you want to be doing is like maybe like swapping this variant right into my towers, you know? Uh, of course, he can, he can kind of dash out. Yeah, there we go. So there you go, I just set up a play. I'm, I'm a playmaker, without even taking the haymaker. <laughs> Sorry about, about the clicking noise, by the way. I just switched to my um, keyboard back to my uh, to my Cherry MX blue switches because I think they're just, I don't know, they, they feel a lot more, I don't want to say reliable, but when they mash on them, they feel like they're not going to break under my fingers. So reliable in that kind of sense. Um, but uh, I do believe I, I do prefer the sound of the blues. Maybe it's just maybe it's just the the, the shitty the sh you know the shitty. Uh, let's go for kind of search here. The shitty red switch uh, keyboard that I have. Maybe it's just not good enough. You know, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just prefer the the sound of this. So I see that my microphone is a little bit too too forward. All right, just back back here. I'm gonna do some camps. What this build is really, uh, not, not, not just the build, but what the this talent that when I took at level 1 is good with is just camping. Jungling, I meant. Uh, jungling is so easy with this build, just because you get on on level 1, by the way, we took the um, we took the amateur opponent, which allows us to deal 150% more damage when we uh, when we actually deal damage with, with our two basic attacks from our W to non-heroic uh, targets, right? So this allows us to just get uh, even bosses. I, I, I don't think you can. Can you sell a boss? I don't know. I've never tried them. I'm not that crazy, but um, potentially even bosses. Or you know, this allows you to just siege super quickly because of the damage you can deal to turrets. Honestly, it's 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 really really good. Can't take this nuke, which is kind of bad. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they can blow you? We're just gonna basically not allow them to take this. Serious? Yeah, that's what I thought. So we have two nukes here, which I think we can definitely take 100%. Oh no, not, not if she dies. Oh, Twin Blades variant! It's got serious! He's serious about it! Alright, Genji's here. Yeah, we, def we, def we definitely got it. Pretty sure he, he doesn't deal enough damage to me. Where you going, baby squirrel? There we go. Right, so... Hmm, Will they take a level, level 7? I don't remember. Chrono Surge. Okay, the attack speed. Cool. That sounds fine. Um, probably purifier beam. Yeah, I'm just gonna do purifier beam. Fuck it. Well, let's just boost that the nuke here. Notice the placement. The turrets are already not uh, not existent, so I I place it so the middle is on the on the fort, and I also uh, place it so it will destroy the well. Um, it is enough that only the site. Uh, I think Nova's gonna die actually. I don't think I can I can get there. Oh, maybe Genji can get here. Oh my fucking god. 
Oh, I fucked up. I should. I just get, get this. Get this far. Get this far, please. Please. Get, please. Ah! Stop him! All right, back off. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Alright, anyway. Yeah, so level 1, again, it will kind of like increase our damage. Fuck you, fuck your creep, Zagara. It will increase our damage to non heroic, to non -heroic uh, units um, by 150% from your W, from your, your two, basically your two immediate basic attacks after your W. On level 4, we went for Shield Surge, which enhances our trait, gives us a little bit more uh, shield. I think like 75% more shield when we're below 25% of our health. So kind of giving us a little bit more of survivability in the team fight kind of the scenario. I wonder if I can solo a boss. I want to try to solo a boss. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. I think we got it. I think we got it. This is a, such a stupid idea, but I think we got it. I don't think we got it. I don't think we got it. No, we don't got it. RUN! <laughs> I'm so bad at this video game. Oh! Hello, Zagara! Yeah, that's what I thought, Beaches. That was a good swap, but still... Oh god, no! Get out of my face! Oh, I just put myself right into the fucking tank track. I'm so bad at this video game. Nice extract, dog. Nice extract. That's why you never. That's why you never picked that stupid town. It's terrible. That was a good, a good either. Good, uh, good switch strike after that. Um, right. So I was talking about. There we go. We get more shield. One well, level four. Um, Chrono surge will allow us to get a little bit more attack speed. I was going to go for the slow, but I'm not sure why, why I picked the Chrono surge. But what you what you're supposed to do there? I mean, Chrono surge is not bad. I don't, I don't say it's bad or anything. It allows you to do to actually quite a lot of damage. But um, uh, let's go for triple strike. Um, what it allows you? Uh, you also have a slow. On your uh, on your swap, which kind of very well combos with your laser. So like if you if you swap somebody, they're really slow, and then you can put your laser on them. That's why I was trying with it as a Gara, but then I forgot that I actually picked up the um, the the corner surge rather. But it's uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's, a, it's definitely something we can work with. On the whole time, we picked up uh, Pure Fire Beam, which. Uh, which what it does, it kind of. Uh, Shoots down this beam from from the heavens, following a certain hero, um, basically up on uh, up until eight seconds. It's for eight seconds. Actually, deals quite a lot of damage if they stay in it. Basically, the, the trick to it is just to uh, just to keep somebody in the beam itself. I don't know why we're dying to a fucking Varian, honestly. I'm so bad at this video game. So there you go. She's slowed now, but she's actually gonna get a boost of speed. Um, from the from their creep, of course, so it's not going to get too much value. But again, you can use it to pressure, but you know, because somebody cannot stay still, cannot stay in, e even in the same remote area, because the, the laser is just going to keep de doing damage, like uh, just kind of just keep doing damage to them. Are they actually doing the boss? I mean, if you're if, if you're doing the boss, no, they're not. Doing it. They, they stopped. They stopped. That's fine. I'm going to do our camp uh, again, kind of using my my ability to jungle. Go, just go and kill him, and I'll, I'll deal with the camp. You can see how how quickly I can do it with my, with my uh, amateur opponent. Yeah, so the pure fire beam is like really good for just controlling areas. Variants right here. Oh, I don't have it yet. I was I was gonna use it, but I use it here. This is gonna give me the uh, increased attack speed. Oh, very nice, very nice uh, shadow charge there. Oh no! I was going to kill him so hard, but then he... Oh, I didn't kill anybody. If we would have killed anybody, we'd have, probably would have been the boss for us. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Rip Kenjai. <clears throat> Somebody of them is top, so I think we can definitely fight here still.
So I'm gonna put the, the laser on him. And I'm probably gonna die. No! Kill this thing! Slow it, thank you! She slowed it. I'm alive. I need to go back quickly. <laughs> Let's go for Titan Killer here. Our team is dying for no apparent reason. I don't know how we all died. Whatever. Right, I'm gonna go top because the top has two nukes uh, and also has this pushing uh, pushing cap. So, at level 13, we did go for triple strike, which increases the amount of uh, of the auto attacks we get from our W uh, by one, and also but it also increases our uh, cooldown of our triple strike by I think like uh, one second or something. So again, it just becomes more of a team fight scenario, kind of like a. It just makes it. Worse, but better. So it's, it's it's kind of like the same, but it also makes it better in the long run because of the triple strike combo, uh, the triple strike titan killer combo, which uh, which does a percentage damage. So I'll be able to like melt the diablos and stuff. Hopefully, I can get this new. I can indeed. So you can't actually see it, but because he's melting me so hard, I'm gonna try to nuke down. But I was a little bit too late. I was gonna nuke below, uh, right below me after I got it, but I was just stunned for whatever. <clears throat> so you can see the weaknesses of, of our is actually here, um, kind of very very apparent that she just she just cannot get, she just doesn't get out. Once he gets in, he's kind of like he's even worse than Butcher, I would say. Um, Butcher at level twenty still has blink, which our doesn't have any any of that. So you ha you basically depend on your team even more even more than Alrog does. Um, but with even a bigger payoff, like without uh, so Alrak has a bigger payoff, and he doesn't just because he doesn't rely on his team as much. And Artanis is just kind of, you know, once he swaps and sets up a like I wasn't even I wasn't able even once to set up a play here. You, you see what I mean, brother? Not that then. Just takes no damage at all. Thank you. You should give me a disengage. Um, I don't know. Is this thing really not working? Because like it seems like I'm not doing any more damage to that. Because like I used to be able to just melt Diablos because nobody's business. Whatever. Maybe it's maybe just me. Maybe I just got you got used to. Oh, okay, good luck. Okay. It would be nice to use, to use my Q first. I really want to chase this, or how? Wh why did again? It's just it's just like the little bugs like that just annoy the crap out of me. Get away from me, please! Oh my god! Yeah, again, I, I would just get stunned, basically not be able to do anything, and we like we didn't focus the right targets. Again, if your team doesn't have uh, doesn't have focus, like we should just kill that Diablo straight away after I swapped him. But again, we just don't have the um, the follow up. I mean, we have the damage, we have the leaming, and we have the, the the Nova. But you know, it's it's quick match. So if you're playing something like an Artanis or Alarak, you're pretty much you're, you're you're pretty much like doing pain to yourself. Just because it's gonna be such a bad experience. Varian even wasn't even with them. He was doing the boss all along. So this is kind of a game where everything goes to shit. And I've tried to record um, Artanis for so long that I'm just gonna stop now. I'm just gonna use this. And use this. Um, I'm gonna go over the build once we get out of this game. And kind of the premise, premise behind the build as well. There are just a lot of more characters that do what Atanis does, but don't put themselves out of position as much as he does. So, I'm just saying that there are characters which does what he does much better. <laughs> MVP. So, yeah, it kinda, I feel like this video kind of shows off why Atanis really sucks right now. He, is, he doesn't bring anything to the team, he doesn't have any CC. Of course he has this, this swap, but then you also need a lot of CC. Well, not a lot, but at least a little bit of CC and at least, at least a little bit of follow-up to actually um, to kill the target which just swapped. So, again, at the beginning it was good just because, you know, early game they didn't have as much survivability and I was able to get some cheesy uh, swaps and stuff. Uh, you can see, you, 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 could have see, see, you could have seen some of the good like combinations where 
you queue forward and then you eat them back and then you know it swaps the full the full length or you actually when you're fighting them you know like basically face to face you can eat you can queue back and then they're gonna start going basically towards you because of the auto pathing and then you use your e basically where you in the direction where you just were and you will just you will swap them where you were like behind you and this this is actually really good for like swapping them behind terrain uh swapping them outside of um outside of camps and stuff like that uh kind of getting camps is, is that's actually super good for uh for that kind of stuff so again if you guys have any questions uh, ask them out down in, in the in the description below i can not the description in the comments below i w will always if um answer them if you have any questions you know for the different combos you can do uh, how you can use your swap that's fine but I don't think you want to put yourself through this pain of playing your talents at the moment. So the talent build is uh, amateur opponent or season marksman on the longer maps, like I don't know, Sky Tempo, um, Cursed Hollow, probably Infernal Shrines. You probably do want to go with season marksman. But then Infernal Shrines is actually a super good map for amateur opponent because you can burst down the objective uh, much, much quicker. You know, the, the small guys and the big guys do. So again, you, you just have to you just have to know like if you already have a dedicated jungler, I don't know, like an Ilden or Sonya or somebody with you. But you probably won't have Sonya with you if you have Artanis, unless you're going triple tank, which is terrible. But um, if you have already somebody who can do camps or your, your team has agreed to do the camps themselves as an, like together, you probably don't want to go amateur opponent anyway. It's just going to be a way too much of overkill. Um, you just have to think, like you know, on the objectives where the object where the objective is actually the main thing on the, on the map, uh, which is pretty much every map. But the objective is something that you can kill and is not a hero. Then there you go. You just go for a your opponent on 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 all of the bigger maps, which doesn't have which do not have really good as as like they don't have something that you kill for objective like cursed hollow like. Even again, the Sky Temple, maybe maybe even um, uh, Tower of Doom. You might want to go season marksman. Uh, level four, you go for Shield Search. I do believe this is the only talent in here. You won't get any value out of this, especially in the later later game, because your your shields get gets burst down super quickly, and you won't get uh, any um, you won't get any value out of the f faster cooldown recharge. And then Psionic Synergy is. Honestly, super super. Like, if this would also give you an increased reduction on on hitting minions, okay, I, then I, I could have made um, an argument for it. But as it only gives you in, increases your cooldown reduction from your Q. Actually, I didn't, I didn't say that about Q. Um, so what Q also does for you? It does some damage in the outwards and inwards, and, and but it also direction. But it also will reduce the cooldown of your trait when you hit enemies. When you hit uh, minions, it's gonna give you one second off of that. When you hit heroes, you get two seconds. So this basically increases the cooldown reduction you get from heroes to up to four uh, from 20 seconds. So, yeah. I don't think this is good. I think you should go for shield surge. Um, I didn't actually explain a lot about his trait. His trait, uh, again, we'll give him shield when he's a ball 75. It's it's on a hefty 24 skin cooldown though, uh, but but you can also lower that with your basic attack. So basically, also another weakness because you have to stay in the thick of things to get your cooldown back, which is, which is you know, again, you have to stay in or you will just die. Because once you start, why, well, let's say you're low, you start backing, you people can just poke you down. Um, and you just can't do much about it because again you won't get the shield because you're not doing damage uh, with your basic attacks anyway so yeah shield search i think is better uh, again very very good in team fights uh, giving you more shield a little bit more shield when um when you're on when you're like super super low on health level seven you do want to go for warp sickness here um especially if you're going for uh, like a level 10 purifier beam because then you can slow people with this and then put the purifier beam and basically get a four set not four set like three seconds of your purifying beam basically guaranteed on that target unless they get cleansed or divine shield or whatever um so that's really good your number one choice is going to be pure is going to be suppression pulse just because it's, it's so, such such a good utility i think it's good with when you're playing with cassia Mostly when you're playing against like auto attackers, and it's just such a huge area that you're gonna pretty much affect the entire team fight. So, 
and you're playing against like a Vala Tracer, um, I don't know, even Varian, um, who's a good, who's our attackers, Diva, uh, Rainer, Rainer is out, out of the meta, Zul'jin, like this is such a good counter to Zul'jin because it's, it's just, it, like that, you counter the, the Taz Dingo, right? Because he pops his Taz Dingo, and then you pop this, and he's blinded for the duration of his entire thing because his, his thing, his uh, his ultimate Taz Dingo, uh, basically lasts for four seconds, and this lasts for four seconds, so he pretty much gets no value out of it. It's just a it's just a huge counter to almost any uh, any other attackers, especially you know, again Tracer Illidan stuff, who heal, especially with I guess um, with Tastar, they heal off of their basic attacks uh, with the shield or Illidan even without a shield. It's just gonna kind of counter them that way. On level 13, um, I do like to go for triple strike, even though I think this is kind of getting out of the meta. If you're getting like, really good swaps and your team is uh, following up on them, you can go for Gravitron Vortex. I do believe this is the better talent overall, uh, but uh, triple strike is kind of more of a solo queue tool to, for you to deal more damage, maybe do your camps a little bit easier with your amateur opponent, and then burst down targets with your level 16 talent, which is Titan Killer. Uh, if the enemy team has at least two front lines, like, you know, two tanky, beefy, uh, I don't know, like a Murden ETC or a new Barak Arthas, something like that, I do, believe, I do believe that Titan Killer is the way to go. But if they don't, if they only have one single front line and the rest is back line, I'll probably go for Zealot Charge. This increases your dashed duration uh, from your W, which kind of which kind of gives you a very nice, uh, unexpected really, by, by other players, um, Gap closer, right? Uh, let's say that Li Ming is trying to keep her distance, but and but she's still trying to get close enough to auto attack you. Well, you can basically dash to her from that distance, and she's gonna have nothing against your triple strike, which is which just dealt a hundred. You just we just dealt like fifty percent of her health. You know what I mean? So um, I like it. I like I like this. I like this talent. Uh, I think Psionic Wound is a really. It's a very trash talent. Um, and it's also a very, very kind of um, trap talent because it, it seems good on paper, but the truth is you're gonna use your W basically after all of your done, um, after you have done all of your damage, right? So you've done your W damage and then the rest of the damage is kind of meh. You're, you're just gonna increase the damage of your next two basic attacks pretty much by 25%. Um, and again, this makes you even more um even more susceptible to is it even even more uh, you have to rely more on your team to get value out of this which is kind of bad overall um if this will be as basically prior to the first strike they start taking the the additional damage then yeah because you can do pretty much like four attacks in that two seconds and also sure your your team will be able to contribute as well but uh, like like the way it is right now in its current form it's a trap talent it's terrible um, yeah, so Titan Killer is a charge and a level 20. Force of Will, I, th I think, is the way to go. Um, I don't like the, the upgrades on his ultimates, and Nexus Blades is kind of meh, because you don't need additional damage. You should have already uh, a, a good damage dealer with you, at least one or two. And yeah, I think Force of Will is really good, because it just helps out your, uh, your survival survivability, increasing the cooldown, which... Increasing the cooldown reduction, which you get from your basic attacks on your trait, to six seconds from four. I'm not happy with the video that I made here. I want you to know that um, I think that Atanas is in a really bad spot now. He should definitely receive some changes, uh, even though he... I, I don't say he's fresh off of a rework, but you know he's one of the, the first batch of heroes who was reworked. Um, when he was first released after the after the of course the the, the rework when when the rework okay, let's say that when the rework was released um, I was really in love with the character but now he's just kind of fallen off not really good for anything and is only good in, in very very specific situations and with a very very good team with you I want to say because if the, your team is bad and they, they they don't follow up they're kind of like all solo you're gonna get no value. Out of uh, out of Artanas, unless you're again your your objective is kind of like minion based and you have to deal damage to it, and then you will get some amateur opponent damage. But other than that, he uh, he doesn't get away he doesn't get away well from fights. He doesn't control the battlefield well besides the the blind. He's just there most of the fights. Uh, 
and that's the main problem. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you if you did, if you didn't, leave that thumb down rating. Tell me why you didn't like it. It's really really important to me um, to keep improving as a player and as a as a content creator. A little little. But if you did enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. There's there's much more in the pipeline. And also check out my uh, my streams. Uh, I do stream daily some some different games. I mainly stream heroes, but I also have been streaming some uh, some Diablo Diablo three, <laughs> which I'm a big fan of. Which I used to be a big fan of. I'm just kind of like meh right now, but I still like to play from time to time. And I actually started playing some Mafia three, and people have started to like that. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Thank you.